Hey everyone, welcome to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for February 12th through the 14th of 2016. I'm Athen and this is for Sidereal Astrology, very different from mainstream astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to click the link for more information. All right, so this weekend we're still in the crescent phase of the lunar cycle, which is essentially about implementing a lot of the same insights that have been coming to us over the past week. Uh, we had a new moon in Capricorn, so this whole theme of this lunar cycle is about where we can have maturity, where we can have that more grounded approach to life. Now, over the weekend, it's going to be taking on the shape of, I think, on Friday, uh, more of that reflective nature as it has been, I think, uh, from Thursday, if you've been feeling that sort of daydreamy, reflective energy of Pisces. So before we go into the weekend, I think it's great on Friday to uh, step into that present moment, maybe get some rest, relaxation, reflect a little bit, because we are entering into quite the active time uh, going into next week. Now, midday on Saturday, and especially the second half of Saturday going into Sunday, uh, the moon is going to be in Aries. So this is where things start to pick up a little bit. Uh, this is the part of the zodiac where we can really pursue our goals. We're much more aware of our own personal self-interests, our motivations, our drives, these kinds of things. So if you look at the transit graph this weekend, we actually have a very nice aspect involving uh, that Mars energy. This is uh, Mars sextiling up to Jupiter which is very nice, and it's the only major aspect of the weekend. So here we could be enjoying taking action. We could be enjoying asserting ourselves. Uh, we could perhaps feel quite confident over the weekend, which is quite good. Uh, it's very good for really getting that energy moving, that motivation, because it can be increased, uh, pursuing our goals, uh, maybe getting physical exercise, getting really actively involved in whatever it is that we're doing. And depending on our personal chart, this could be some sort of opportunity. You know, the sex dials are about openings and gateways. So this could be an internal opportunity to move forward, to get that mo motivation, that drive, that momentum. It could be an external opportunity, something coming into your sphere that uh, might require you to take action, but could be quite good. Uh, so whatever it is, I think um, seeing those doors opening and walking through the doors uh, can make this an excellent way of utilizing this transit. So that's going to be the major theme of the weekend. Like I said, Friday, that reflective Piscean nature. Also on Friday, too, the moon will be conjoining up to Uranus. So this is perhaps wanting to break free a little bit, which is usually the case with this Uranus-Pluto square, or at least has been. Uh, so the key with this is that we can really find freedom in the present moment. You know, this is what Uranus has really been showing us. So accessing that presence, um, any type of spiritual activities, really being grounded because sometimes Uranus wants us to make some sudden changes. We might feel compelled to break free or to do something like that. But it's important to live in the present, to listen to that intuition. And I'm sure there is some guidance coming in, but to really see that everything is unfolding in the present in divine timing. Okay, And in that way, it actually does become very freeing with Uranus here. Now, as we go into Saturday, like I said, the moon will be in Aries. So the energies and all of that in terms of our self-orientation will start to increase a bit. That's when we have that Mars sextiling up to Jupiter. And then as we go into Sunday, we have some nice aspects with uh, the moon. The moon will be opposing up to Mars very late on Sunday. So keeping everything nice and balanced on Sunday when it does come to these self-orientations and motivations. But, um, you know, this is a Mars that's in a much better position than Mars has been in Virgo. Mars is in Libra now. So especially when we're approaching situations and taking action with tact, you know, with mutuality, with cooperation, that's where we have a lot of support right now with Mars. So maybe some things to think about with that. And in terms of that sex dial up to Jupiter, you know, Jupiter is going retrograde back into Leo. So reflecting on what are our interests in life? What are our passions? What are the things that inspire us? And really tap into that self-expression. So um, it could be a creative weekend. I would recommend it if you're feeling guided to. Uh, it could be fun, playful, uh, but especially in that more introverted sort of sense, or at least reflective sense. So that's going to be that major uh, aspect. And I do want to mention, too, going into next week, we do have the sun slowly but surely si shifting into Aquarius. Uh, so this will be a slow focus shifting, I think, more towards where we can give, where we can contribute. At least that's a good area of prana and of motivation going into next week. Really tapping into that individuality, that true self, can be quite um, quite expressive, in fact, with um, Jupiter retrograde in Leo. 
Now, the other thing too is Mercury is slowly going into Capricorn, so everything is still staying nice and grounded, uh, but this will be specifically with maybe the daily activities of Mercury, maybe with the communications and the thinking patterns, which is good, keeping everything nice and solid. Because uh, again, this whole lunar cycle is about uh, these new energies in terms of where we can be you know, grounded, where we can really be um, mature and responsible in our life. So um, as a general theme, Mars sextiling up to Jupiter is going to be the high points. Could be that increased motivation, drive, could be opportunities to assert ourselves. And um, with that, the moon's going to be in Aries, really confirming that e even more. Uh, which could be assisting in a lot of this action-oriented time that we are going into next week. All right, so hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to poll to see how others are experiencing these energies, and I'll see you guys all on Monday. Take care.